Welcome back to another episode of The Witcher. Today, we're in this nice little town of Zima with this poor man looking at us. And we just defeated those silly ghosts from last episode that we defeated once and then they're like, oh, let's, well, I was like, let's go downstairs and see what's there. And there were those stupid guys that took so many hits. So, oh, we missed them. Missed the stairs. So we gotta go talk to Coleman, I think it was. Who's over in the bar, of course. Courtesan. Alright. Or oh, the inns, sorry. They didn't call them bars back then, I don't think. They were inns. You fight like a loss. Okay, so Conrad. Who's Conrad? How can they drink this? What is it anyway? I suppose it's wine. Wine? Couldn't pass for wine stepbrother. <laughs> so what is it? Ugh, diluted dog's piss. Thus, I come here rarely. I thought this was the only tavern around. I live in the trade quarter, but the inns there are closed. Wanna earn some coin? Sure. You mentioned you might have a job for me. Care to elaborate? I know where to find fine spirit but it requires a sword to get it. You need a warrior to have a drink? I know a place with hundred-year-old wine from Toussaint. What's the catch? The wine cellar is in a house where monsters now haunt. It'll cost 200 orans. Deal. I'll return here at midnight. Where's the house? Take the gate leading to the dike. On the right, it leads to the canal. The house is on the left. All right, we might do that. Um, who's Frank Foreman? Who doesn't? Zoltan. Foreman over here. I think that's who I should start to. He's not in here. Um, let's check our quest. Let's see. Oh, da, da, da. Um, it's time to go back to Coleman for the payment. Can we talk to this guy? How do you want wealth? I've been to Taller's place. Found a few things there. Belong to someone I've been looking for. Yeah. So what? They belong to a witcher. How'd you get them? We found them. Your friend was in trouble, scheming the salamandra. Ask the people in the swamp. That's where we found those trinkets. Hmm. Okay. So, let's just step out and step back in and see if Coleman shows up. Maybe it just, he just didn't appear that time or something? Who knows? These games act a little funny sometimes. Oh, they rams me too. Talk to this guy. Damn it! Whatever you do, don't bet on the boxing. <laughs> it's rigged. What do you want? Seen Coleman. You did business with him and then he disappeared, right? You could say so. Uh, okay. You're lucky. His partners often meet with accidents. Where can I find him? Evenings, he collects transports on the dike. If you provide him a service, learn why he needs it done. All right. We'll reward you for anything you find out. All right. So long. So we gotta go find Coleman now, because he ran away. What a guy. I believe, actually, the dike is where we need to go for the wine thing, too, right? Most uncommon wine. Past the gate leading to the... Yeah. So, we could stop in and grab that on the way. 
grab our crazy wine. Um, let's just check out the map. Okay, so we gotta go up and past where we were last episode. It seems to always be nighttime here too. I don't know what it is. These guys don't. There's not enough enough happiness to experience daytime or something like that. Poor woman, poor man, poor dog. Lots of guards. Hey, it's our friend. Geralt, good to see you. Where are you going? To the dike. No passage. Captain forbids it. Why? Captain's orders. Talk to him. Gentlemen, that's no way to treat a hero. Geralt, the witcher that saved the like, from, from a terrible the bottom cockatrice. Line. A hero? Well, that changes things. He's almost one of us. In that case, please pass, Master Geralt. We'll drink your health at the inn. Thanks, Siegfried. Hey. A surprise Friends in sewers. certain places. A night of the flaming rose. Soaked in stench from head to foot. I usually work alone, but this was an opportunity to see a knight in action. I must say he did rather well for a human. That was rare gratitude he showed. See, this would have been completely different if I didn't let him come along. So I wonder what would have happened. What would have happened? But that's it's pretty awesome. And if that's all I saw, you'll lose half your gold. Wait, someone's coming. It's that white-haired fellow. He spotted us. Careful. He's a witcher. He's dangerous. Finally, the acknowledgement I deserve. Witcher. <laughs> That seemed like a nice chat. Stop playing the fool. You know. Matter of fact, I do. By the way, you never paid me. Here's a hundred orange. Don't turn me in. Why not? I'm helping Vincent dismantle the secret salamandra organization. You're not doing too well. Oh, some fool keeps killing salamanders, spoiling our traps and schemes. <clears throat> Any idea who? No, <laughs> but if I find him, I'll stop his meddling. Oh yeah. Let's grab our wine while we're here, because we have to go back to the inn anyways, right? So, um, which, which place was it? Oh. Okay, so it's back in through here. I thought it was after the the door, but apparently not. It was just before it. Where's this taking me? How's it the first junction past the gate leading to the deck? Okay. I was just in this house. I'm not going in there. That's to fight those nasty guys in the basement. I'm not doing that right now. Maybe we'll finish up the episode with that one, but I'm not starting the episode with that. I died on up last episode. <laughs> Man, I'm ever happy that they don't ding you for ding you for dying. Like some other games do. Something like a nasty dog. Oh, what the heck is this thing? Switch to Let's do some power attacks. And combo his power attacks with my power attacks. Yeah, that's right. You stay on the ground, fool. So that's a vampire, eh? That's pretty creepy. Known as a flutter. 
Okay, the innkeeper. Let's expose Coleman. Jack! I found Coleman. Oh, Ram's meat will fancy knowing that. So he said he's hunting the salamandra. Should I turn him in? Um. Yeah, let's turn him in. I caught him informing. Bastard. We knew of a leak, but Coleman? That's life. Ram's meat set a price on the snitch's head. 500 orans. All right. So let's go hunt down Coleman because there's 500 orange in it. What? Ever seen? I've seen a lot. Um. Best tell me all you know. The name Azar. I have a rule. Before I make sure you remember that, I'll be back. Okay, so if we check out our journal now, is there somebody I have to turn that into or what? Um, doo -doo -doo. Let's talk to the gambler. Let's talk to the swamp dweller dwellers. Talk to Zoltan about dice. He's right over here. We can, we can do that. Witcher, Zoltan Shive. Good to see you. You got inside the town, okay? Plenty of work for a Witcher in Vizima. It seems so. How did you manage to get in? Nasty non-humans will always find a way to sneak into human homes. True enough. Listen, Zoltan. I wanted to talk to you. Yes? Got a minute? What's eating you? I warn you, some philosophy's involved. The meaning of life, eh? The evil that witchers fight stems from chaos, from actions aimed at disturbing hmm. order. For where evil spreads, order cannot be established. Instead of the light of wisdom, the glimmer of hope, and the glow of warmth, darkness ensues. And in darkness, you find nothing but blood, fangs, and claws. Check out the guy in the back just like mowing down on the pair. Nicely put, but <laughs> as young Cero said to King Verdank on their first date, does it have any practical uses? The right of witches to live and function in this He's world just is loving that pair back there. Because the struggle nom, 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 good nom, and evil nom. now plays out on a different battlefield with different rules. Evil has ceased being chaotic. No longer a blind elemental power, evil follows rules according to the rights it's been granted. It functions in line with treaties. That's progress. With more of us living longer, we can slaughter one another in the thousands. Progress is like a herd of pigs. The herd brings many benefits, but no one should wonder at all the shit. Shit or no <laughs> shit, witches exist to slay monsters. How can I when the real monsters hide behind ideals, faith, or the law? The biggest evil is moral relativity, which kills more than the Catriona Plague and dragons combined. Witchers will always be needed, no matter where that pig heart leads us. Thanks, Sultan. I actually wanted to talk to him, uh, not so much about philosophy, yeah. but about the... Um, the dice. Know anything about Vivaldi's bank? No, it's only Vivaldi's by name. How so? New owners. Humans. That explains a lot. Really? How are you doing? Ever considered marriage, Geralt? My profession's not exactly conducive to marriage. Infertility, incessant risk, travel. Not many women would agree to that. You see, I'm having doubts. Go on. I haven't seen her for some time, and I'm getting jealous. She bars <laughs> are so desirable. All right. I suggest we drink heavily, if that doesn't help. You mocking me? I wouldn't dare. 
Hardly something to laugh about. <laughs> this guy's trying to get through, but he can't. <laughs> Let's play some just quick game of poker. Um, we'll start with three. And then we're going to go talk to... Then we'll go talk to the people and give Vivaldi out because he's innocent. It's human owners. Okay, so I've got a pair and my opponent's got a pair. Put another thirty on top of that. We'll roll this on this on and this one again. Let's just go for the let's go for ones. Give me some ones, give me some ones. That didn't work at all. He just left a two. Oh Wow, he destroyed me on that one. Um, let's roll the dice. Let's see what we can get. Come on, Zoltan. You're nothing but a wimp. I got nothing. He's got a pair. And he keep the six. Hoping for another six. One, two, three, four. Not good enough. And he gets three of a kind. Wow. I'm not playing dice with Zoltan anymore. Zoltan wins hardcore. Alright. So, let's go free Vivaldi. I would imagine that that's enough to let him go, right? It's not even his... It's, it's not even his... Um, his problem because they were accusing him for things in his bank and it's not even his bank anymore well that was weird the game just straight up crashed but luckily there was an auto save just right outside of there um so yeah we're still on the same quest and everything and just have to head up to Vivaldi's I don't know what happened like I don't know whether I pressed a button combination that decided for it to close because it wasn't nothing popped up like saying oh your game has crashed would you like us to fix it um so i think we it's saying if we go to vivaldi's house or something like that which is seems a little weird because he's in jail why would we go to his house the elder races inhabit this district dwarven craftsmen and elven artists this coxstein's house vivaldi's is over here Head on in. Even though he's not here. Just see if anything's old shelf. Alcohol and a torch. That's a great thing to store in a wooden thing. Like <laughs> he stored it inside a wooden old shelf. He stored alcohol and a torch. Seems like a terrible idea. Okay, so there is nothing in here. I don't know why it's telling us to go here. Let's go to the prison. Oh. There's another assassin. Yeah, I do dare challenge the Salamandra because that was easy. And plus, you have some fist tech and some gold on it, on you. Perfect. Thank you very much. There's a dwarf. A dwarf. Okay, so we're going to just completely ignore that thing and head over to the prison, which is back over this way. It's down the next one, I believe. Yeah, because there's uh, the field that we used to run through all the time down into the dungeon see who's hanging out down here today that we can talk to Jailer Jethro can I talk to Vivaldi? no chance 
Anyone arrested for dealing with Skyatel is a political prisoner. He's just an old dwarf. Why are you standing up for him? I need to talk to him. Pay the 200 bail, and I'll let him out. You can do whatever you want, then. Here's your coin. Fine. Just let him out. What brings you here? Do you have a copy of the Secret Gates? I do. And what remains of my collection? It's yours if you want it. How much? You pulled me from prison. Take it as a gift. Sweet. I figured out Azar Javed's contacts. Interesting. Sorry I suspected you. I know you've lost control of your bank. Kind to be so frank with a dwarf. Any time. I have information about Javed that oh, might interesting. be useful. Even the smallest details sometimes are. I saw his name in old files. He paid tuition at the Sorcerer School in Barnard. He was expelled after taking an interest in dark magic. He stopped paying tuition and that was the last trace of him in our system. You're dealing with a renegade, and a dangerous one at that. Alright, sweet. So, we now have access to both the books, we just have to go pick up one in um, Vivaldi's house. We could um, go down into the sewers. So, that's going to be it for today. We're just going to look at the quests quick. Um, we got some new ones here. Um, so we must gain the trust of Coxeen. And we have both the books now, so we can work on that one. Um, and we have both these books. So yeah, we will complete that one by when we um, when we actually grab them, and we might work on this nasty uncommon wine quest with the crazy guys in the basement. But that's gonna be it for today. Make sure you check out my social media links to stay updated in the description. I always post whenever a new episode goes live on Facebook, and it gets sent out on Twitter as well. So. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.